we've got our dough for pinot chocolat. The first thing we're going to do is trim the bottom, just the edge, just to open up the lamination. And we're going to set this bottom of the ruler here to 18. And we'll mark it at 6 and 12. And we're going to put it out. Keep your elbow locked in the same position. That'll help you not to wobble as you cut. We've got our bicycle here set to the same width as a chocolate baton. We're gonna go ahead and find our square corner. Pull this down, just marking the surface. We'll go ahead and do the rest of it. Now we'll swap to our wheel and cut along our line. So you want to place them about a half inch from the top and then about an inch below that. You're going to do one column and then skip a column. And skip every other column. That's going to help you go a little bit faster, help keep things from hitting each other as you go to wool. And you want to work with speed during this section. Keep your dough as cold as possible. And roll with two hands. So go ahead and lift it up here to wrap the first baton. And use a flat hand to roll over. What you want to be very careful of at the end here is that your seam is on the bottom. So when you've rolled it and you've got your seam placed directly on the table, you're going to go ahead and press and press slightly away from you. Roll your hand. That way your seam ends up between half and about a quarter of the way in the middle here. That way your chocolate croissant isn't going to unroll on you as it proofs. Passing down and away. You go ahead and baton the rest of them. Start in. If you're shaping with another person. Don't start on opposite ends and work into the middle. When you get in the middle, you're going to be in a crunch for uh, arm space, elbow space. Who's going to be doing what? One of you should start on the left or the right, and the other one should start in the middle. And then you work in the same direction. That way you don't bump into each other as you go. per tray. If you have 16, don't try to fit 16 on the tray. No matter what the product is. You're going to want to split that into two as even as possible. We're going to transfer these into our proof boxes overnight. We'll let them proof, we'll egg wash and bake in the morning. 